Hello, this is Alex. I wanted to make a, just a short video about how to test and not test MOSFETs. In this case, this is a common drain MOSFET used on uh, many modern MacBooks. So this one uh, has two MOSFETs inside of the one package. So uh, it has like two sources there from the both sides here. Uh, it has common drain, obviously connected and two gates. So the common problem is that uh, in such MOSFETs you need to know if it's shorted or not, if both of them are shorted or on si a single one of them. Um, and there's a just an easy technique how to test if MOSFETs actually can turn, can be switched on or off. So um, to test MOSFET, the, the thing is that you might actually charge the gate by testing and it will be uh, kind of shorted. So let's see, I'll just show you the example. So I'm testing the MOSFET, I'm just moving around and I see that the first pin, the gate 2, is open, the next one is shorted, the next one is open as well. I put it on the next one and the second source is shorted as well and we have continuity to the both MOSFETs. What actually happened is that by putting the red probe on the uh, gate 2 I actually charged the MOSFET and I opened the gate and now it actually it's conductive now. So if you test N-channel MOSFETs uh, you should always put the red probe on source, on in most MOSFETs it will be the, the biggest part on this thing, so uh, for now if you put the black probe on gate you will actually discharge it and it will close the MOSFET, it's not conductive anymore so just discharge the next one gate and now as you may see the MOSFET is perfectly fine and you can test also if uh, MOSFET is able to be uh, opened so you can actually switch the gate with a red probe so you just put the black one on source and you charge the gate with a red probe after that you should have connectivity on some uh, multimeters it might not beep, it might show simply there's something like a, a 50 ohm resistance or maybe 100 ohm but on most common uh, like this Bremen PM235, it will actually beep. So, if you wish to test another type of the MOSFET, the P-channel MOSFET, it's actually the uh, the same, but you simply switch the red and black probe. So, to open the gate, you put the red probe on source, the bigger part. So, the left one is the gate. Now the gate is open, and we have the connectivity. So both sides, now we close the gate, so we put the black on source and red on gate. And now the MOSFET is closed, we don't have any connectivity. So both of the MOSFETs are actually absolutely fine. So this one is a P-channel MOSFET, it's common for uh, it's a but it's usually called but fed because it's uh, usually I control the battery current. So this one from the MacBook Air or something I believe. But it's usually the same for all type of the MOSFETs used in in uh, in common notebooks. So to test the uh, the N channel MOSFET, you need to charge the gate with a red probe. Uh, for the P channel MOSFETs, you charge the gate with a uh, you open the gate with a red probe. That's the difference. So I hope it clears something up. And uh, one thing you need to know that uh, sometimes when you disorder stuff from the main board, it can actually be charged by your tweezers. So you just put MOSFET on the table, you start uh, testing it, and it's, it seems shorted. And if you keep uh, your black probe on source, on the, for example, on the N channel MOSFET, if you test it like that, you will always have the funny results because if you simply move it around, you will actually charge the gate 
and you won't have connectivity.